What's up, y'all? I'm Swing, and uh, today we're going to be taking a listen to uh, the new Rob Banks album, Year of the Savage. Uh, this album has been, I think, been in the works, or people have been waiting on it for like, probably like three years, probably since Calendars dropped. Uh, I think it was supposed to be the follow-up to that uh, album. That was kind of the first one that put him on the map. Um, in between Calendars and finally now, you're the Savage, he's put out a couple of uh, EPs, uh, Two Phones, Shawty, uh, The No Trespassing with Chris Travis, and he did put out a like a full length uh, tape, uh, The City, which had a lot of good tracks on it, uh, you know, Counted, On Me, Practice, stuff like that. Uh, so I definitely haven't been waiting for this as long as some people have, but I definitely am interested. Uh, Rob Banks is a definitely cultivated his his own kind of unique sound and uh, really the the Florida rap scene isn't super gigantic I know right now Denzel Curry's getting a lot of looks uh, you know Space Ghost Perp you know during his time and Raider Clan and stuff like that but uh, it's it's always nice you know being in Florida to you know have someone that's really repping for the state so uh, we're gonna start off by skipping the first track, which is outro, and we're gonna go right into Buku. Here we go. <laughs> Really brought the energy right to start. Really vibing with this hook, and I'm loving like these. I don't know, like, giving me like this underwater synthy vibe. I don't, I don't know. I, I, once I throw it in the headphones, but the production sounds like it's starting off on a good foot as well. <laughs> the Pokemon, she only says her name. I, I really hope for more of this. I'm. I think it's probably going to get a little bit darker, you know, that's kind of in Banks' flavor. So, uh, it's definitely got me hooked with this first track. Uh, I believe the next one is Leatherface. <laughs> this beat is hard as shit. Hook is strong. Lyrically, there's some stuff there, enough to keep me interested. But uh, this this beat is a, a riot starter. <laughs> good good on it. I don't have the production credits yet, but damn, I really love that. I, I'm guessing it's a bell. I like that. <laughs> Drop it one more time. Next track, really fucking with that one. Uh, this one's called Half Bay. And it's featuring Puya. Sounds like the most up tempo so far. Not that it's a bad thing, just. Uh, two, two rappers trading bars. I gotta. I love that shit. This isn't necessarily, you know, the what with Method Man and Big, but I think they, they play off each other nice. Not, not one week beat so far. And. Every single hook been strong energy between everything. Alright. Wit. Coming up next. So far the I'd say the brightest production. You know, the other one's kind of been a little bit darker tone. But uh definitely definitely some rise. Really like this beat. Again, just got a really nice bounce. Uh the hook's gonna take a little bit to grow on me. Uh, I'd say it's the weakest one so far, but we only like four tracks in, so I think that we are gonna go on to the next track here. Uh, Chang Swine. Swine! God, I can't wait for this to drop. Please do it. Those keys. This hook. <laughs> Fire. Whoever produced this beat is a fool. I think he was saying Zay at the beginning, so this is Zay Tovin, I'm unsurprised. But that with the hook, just flex, flex, flex. Uh, I think we're gonna go on to the next one now. This 
next one is going to be called Pressure. Like a similar, I'm assuming like a kid that, da, 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 like Mercy, you know, Kanye. But I think everything about the rest of it makes it different enough. Smooth ride, smooth ride on this one. All right, we're gonna slide to the next track here. Uh, it's gonna be Phone Sex with Lucky X. I believe that's Shy Town. Very, very interesting beat. Uh, I'm unsure about the Lucky X verse, but I'd love to get this one in headphones. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of this beat. Let's slide again to the next. We got uh, Pink Puss. Sound like some new wave two live right here. I think as far as the two mostly female oriented songs, I mean phone sex and, and now this one, I would say I'm vibing a little bit more with, with this one. I mean the beat's definitely on point, but uh, I don't know, something about this one. On the next one we got uh, Fuck What You Mean featuring Indigo Child Rick. I was unsure about just kind of the, the, the tone of Indigo Child Rick's uh, voice in his verse. Uh, I mean, I understand that he was kind of, you know, trying to go for a high energy. And I mean, this track is... <sighs> this track just has too much energy to not be yelling. So, uh, I, can un I can understand, man. I can understand. Uh... Fire. Fire. Uh, as much as I don't want to, uh, the next track is going to be Two Phones Shorty. Kind of dropped this one way before this, but uh, I'm kind of glad that he put this one on there as well. Hitting Jay-Z in the elevator like a launch. It makes you wait so long for that drop. It's so fucking good. <sighs> that was just for my own listening pleasure here. We're going to go on to the last one. Uh, it's going to be three deep. This beat is like a... It's like a fish tank with drums over it. It's just like this real bubbly... Uh, it's, very unique. I really, I really can't wait to get this one in the headphones too. That was my first run through. Year of the Savage, Rob Banks. Uh, I gotta say, definitely some of the the most unique production that I've that I've heard this year. Uh, Rob Banks doesn't have production like anyone else. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe like Denzel Curry or something like that, but really, like, I don't think anyone's rapping over the stuff that he's rapping. So I, I really think he found a nice lane, and I'm, and I'm sure I missed like all sorts of anime, you know, references, and you know, I'll take my time when I when I put this stuff in the headphones because his beats are definitely very uh, intricate. I would say uh, there's definitely a lot of stuff going on in the background and you know all those kind of ins and outs stuff that I really enjoy so um, tracks that definitely stuck out for me uh, right off the bat Buku, Leatherface, Half Bay probably the, one of the strongest runs uh, on the on the album Chain Swang is another and uh, Fuck What You Mean um, a lot of these tracks I can see going over ridiculously well live he's he, He's gonna put on a, a goddamn show with with some of these. It's just the energy is undeniable. On first listen, I would say most definitely download this. Do your ears a favor. Grab yourself Rob Banks, Year of the Savage. Put it in the whip. Put it right on your ears and fucking let it bang, man. I'm serious. Hit the download. Swing.